So this game's just not good. And it's check. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 122 of playing chess every single day until 2000 ELO. Let us hop right into a game. All right, it did not take long. It looks like they updated their flags on here. It looks fancy. We got an Australian. I harnet. We're going to play a Carl Kahn. Plays knight out. Takes, takes. Or if he goes here, we get a... a whoa. Oh, here. <laughs> My arrows were not working. We get a Tartikauer. Okay, so he just takes. Uh, yeah, we play here. I think he can take. No, he can't. So, if we unpin ourselves, we lose the pawn. If we kick him away and he takes... Then we recapture. But if I go here and he plays this... No, we just kick him away. Can't really take. The other option I was thinking of was e6, but... Blocks in the bishop, which I think is okay, but... I don't really like to play like that. Yeah, it takes. Now we'll go here. This is defended. Now we will pin the knight. He's probably going to do the same. We're going to play here. Yeah, let's just play e6. Develop. And get castled. We He kind of has a lead in the development area right now. He's got two knights. My pawn structure looks okay. Uh, t -t -t -t. So this pawn's very weak. Could be a target. Moves like this. But first things first, we need to develop. So I'm thinking just go here and try to trade this off. Just challenge that. And if he plays here, I'm just going to go like this. Now he trades. Queen up. So he's protecting this. Or protecting from the doubled pawns, I should say. Now, is there any kind of tactic for him? I think we can just develop. Develop like normal. This bishop's kind of stuck, though. Maybe I should take the knight. It will weaken this pawn. But the reason why I think I should probably take it is because if I just develop normally, I'm going to get hit with h3. And then just, like, he's going to start attacking. Could also go here and attack the queen, but I don't think that really serves a purpose, so we're just going to take. And then go here. Okay, knight to a4. He wants this, or this. I could play here, trying to stop this. But if he goes here, he's getting in. He just wants to plant the knight on this square, I think, which is understandable because this pawn is weak and I cannot take now, or I can't push now. This is a fork of this, this, and this, however. Stops the knight from coming here. I'd like to be castled, but if I go here and he goes here, I just go here and then where does he go? Can't take, he could jump into the position, but he might just get stuck. I think this is a decent move. He can't even play that because I just take the knight. So if I go here, he's probably going to have to go to one of these squares. Okay, let's, let's play it. Could also... No, I can't even go like this. Because I just take? No. Oh, if I don't take that queen, though, I will never castle. I want to get rid of that central pawn. But I don't know if it's worth losing the castling rights. Hmm. So our options are a5. We could play rook to b8. Or we could simply take and then double the pawns. That doesn't look too bad. That just looks so nice. I don't think we can go for it. I think we need to take. Now he has this very nice knight. I think it's just too risky. He just his pawn structure is gonna be worse. So now our king is safe. 
Yeah, he's got that nice knight. But maybe here. Defend. Could also play this. We need this to be protected. Can't infiltrate. He could come here, but that doesn't really pose a threat. So I'm thinking here. He's probably going to have to try and target me. If I go here, takes here. It just becomes a target pawn, but I can defend it with f5. And since we're kind of going into an end game here, it's not so bad. But this becomes very weak. Should be able to reinforce it though. So takes here, likely this, then we play here, and we've got this little cluster of pawns. And then this is not possible because of that. If he ever plays this, we just take. It's okay. He doesn't even target that pawn. We are going to go after the open file. We don't have to play this just yet. But if I can get rooks into his situation, that'd be... Okay, so he's trying to undouble. Understandably. If I play here, he just goes here. Might play this. No. He's going to double up soon, and then he's going to force me to take. I don't really want him to have a four... Four person island there. So if I play this, he's going to go here. And I can't let him take, so I'd have to take. Ah, but if I go here, he just goes like this. So that's not really great. And then if this, he just moves down. Hmm, we don't have much for options here. If I take, I don't want to undouble his pawns. I just don't. But he's going to get into this square, and then that's bad. I think we have to take. Because I didn't, he was just going to play here and then the trade's going to happen. Now he's going to go for this, probably. If I go here, he has this. Here, probably push. So what if I play this now? My idea behind a5 is that he can't push here. And I want to play this to target this. Okay, we go here. Does he have that move? We need to get the king active. Here forces this move. Let's go for that. He's going to go here, and then we play this. But then he pushes. Actually, there's back rank problems. So I can go here. If he pushes, we go here. Or do we go here? Takes. No. Here, he can't push. I like pushing this pawn, I think. Let's go for it. Because I think we need to keep these pawns on the board to stop the advancement takes takes we win a pawn that way if that happens and if it doesn't he might no he can't play that yeah he has to do something there now we just take what do we take yeah take he can't take here because the rook is under attack and if we get this it could be good Okay. Rook comes in, probably takes. We want to keep the rooks on the board. Can I hold on to this though? Or should I take, take? So here, it does cut the king off from coming out. So the king would have to walk all the way over to here. So one, two, three, four. Or moves. So let's say takes king here. We should be in time. I think we can take with the pawn. And that's just a pass pawn now. Yeah, king there. So we just calculated this. He might go here. I could force a trade. Does this trade benefit me though? Probably just goes back. So here takes here. Here, here, here. Here, here 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 he wins the pawn so what if i just go here now we're gonna go after these pawns i think and the only reason why that would work is if the king would stay on this rank because the rook would be pinned we're so much down on time oh my gosh okay so if he stays on this rank i cannot let's say he goes here can i go here 
Takes, takes, no. Now this is protected. He's going after these pawns, I think. But he can't actually get in. If the king steps away, I think we can play here. No, he just pushes. Let's see, let's try and go for this. Don't think allowing that is good. Let's go here. Just stop the advancement. He's probably going to play that. He did freeze my pawns doing this, though. So that could benefit him. That's not a good choice, I don't think. But if I go here, he takes, or he pushes. It's an outside pass pawn, but our king's within reach. Should be fine. And obviously he can't take because I just take and then I gobble this pawn. So he's got to push and then this. Yeah, there's that. Now we have two connected pass pawns. It's not looking good. So here, here, here. Uh, I don't even think we have time to calculate. What about just going here now? Here, 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 here. Should be able to stop him. No, I go here, he takes. Let's go ahead and push the pawn. And then we can go here. Get behind the pass pawn and also be able to come for this. Push. You'll be forced to go back. Here, here. Let's just push. Just gonna go for this. What? Really? Oh, but he promotes with check. Oh god. We messed up. But we should be fine. No. Here and it's like game over, I think. This? No, because then I can never get out. Here, is there any checks? I can never go on this file. Oh, I can just block with the queen. That looks good. Oh, but then he takes... But we're up material. Oh. It's getting tricky. It's kind of scary. He might force a draw, too, because I think he can just, like, repeat moves. Actually, this probably wins a pawn. Uh, we should be able to... If he takes, I think it's a mistake. I think he has to give checks. Not this check, because I go here, and it's a forced queen trade. Yeah, we should have been paying attention of the uh, the alignment of his promotion square. Okay, he takes. I don't think that's right. Takes here, takes here, here. Oh, but then I can't get in. Oh, really? That's what he goes for? That's not right. This pawn can just go. He's probably going to try for these. I think I'm faster, though. Here, and then maybe this. Yeah, let's go here. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm just trying to get this pawn up. He might try and take. Oh, we can just get behind this pawn. Should be winning. We go here. Just need to be careful of him stepping back. For checks, winning this. Now he's going to try for that. He goes back. Let's go here, attack the rook. Probably here, trying for this. Then we step up, I think. Or bring the rook back here. Yeah. I think we can give that pawn up. He's going to take, we just push. Okay, push the pawn. We can always block checks here too. And we always promote first. The king has no way of stopping it. Goes behind. So he wants this square. Let's just stop that. Let's go here. Now he's going to be forced to go back probably. Okay, go here. Just give checks probably, I would assume. Or he might just sacrifice. No, it goes all the way behind. Not quite sure why. And we go here. And now he cannot stop promotion. He can't even go to the back rank. We just make a queen. Yeah, he resigns. Nice. Okay, let's take a look at this game review. Back up to 1569. Not too bad. We played at an 85.6% accuracy with zero blunders and zero misses. Few inaccuracies and a couple mistakes. Okay, this wasn't right. What should we have done? It wanted queen to f6. 
just attacking this. I mean, that makes sense. But as I've mentioned before, I've been trying to get out of these early queen moves, unless it's theory. Nothing wrong with trading it off, I guess. And taking here was best. Developing here wasn't. Probably to this square. Yeah, I guess on this square it's not really fighting for much. Where on here it can eventually be targeting this weak pawn. And it protects our weak pawn as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. This was a good find for him. He had to take or he had to trade the queens. And I figured I was gonna be a little bit better if we got that. It wasn't a fan of my knight trade there, but that's alright. Yeah. I didn't want to take I didn't like this because he can just protect it very good. And after going here, if he decides to take, then I just use te two tempo. But now he's actually just better here. This was the only move, of course. That wasn't great. Okay, the other pawn I should have done. It was the right idea. Got all these trades, and that pawn was quite dangerous. This was wrong, though. What should I have done here? Check. Why? Okay. And then we have this pawn that's just running. So I was supposed to deflect the king away from the protection of this. Which makes sense, because we couldn't really make much progress. That was a mistake. I'm still much better, but... Rook here? What happens after takes? Oh, we win this pawn. And then have another pass pawn. And he was supposed to just ignore. For sure. Makes sense. Because he allowed me to get two connected pass pawns. But we allowed this. And that was the only move. And yeah. I mean, we got behind our pass pawn. And we made it. All right, let's hop into a second game. All right, we find Penguin 02 from Poland, and we got the white pieces. We got a Sicilian, play the closed Grand Prix attack with F4. Okay, he goes for E6. So he probably wants to play here, which is fine. Let's put the knight out. If this, we just go here. Of course. Never take. If he pushes, we're going to take with check first. I like this guy's profile picture here. A little penguin with glasses and a backwards red hat. Kind of like uh, how I wear a backwards red hat. Not lately, but, you know, it's cool. Okay, so he goes a6, which I think is an, an accuracy, just because like I want to take anyways. But now he, now he's got this open B file. This is a weak pawn. Eventually, could target it, but I don't think it's really great right now to do that. I think we want to just continue with our development, and then castle. Okay, knight out. Didn't go here because then I have this move. Which makes sense. I think we are going to try and target this pawn. So let's go for this. Play a little bit differently. Because now that knight needs to move somewhere. And it really can't go anywhere other than this. Okay, he goes there anyways. Do I have this? His king's just in the center. Push. If takes here. Knight has to move castles or queen check or something. Could also just go after the pawn right away. Maybe we just castle right now. Just castle. I mean, he can't come in anywhere. This pawn's protected. So we can't really go for this. Or maybe we could. I mean, if he plans to castle kingside, opening up the F file for me is not really great. And now notice that the, the knight's not on this square protecting this so we might have some possibilities of well here and here 
I guess the knight does protect the infiltration spot that the queen usually infiltrates at, but figure it out. Bishop there. Yeah, I really want to break this open. Here, here. If this, then there's that. We lose a pawn, but everything gets opened up. Could also be annoying and go like this. But then this pawn's permanently weak. That's not really an option. We lose a pawn that way. No, we don't, actually. So what if I go here? Then we are threatening to go here, but he just blocks it very easily with this move. Then there could be potential sacrifices. Takes here. No. I'm looking at this as well. But I guess after that, he just takes. Don't want the queen to go there. Let's go here. Let's just do it. Takes. I'm gonna try and explode the center. He's just gonna take back. So we're down a pawn, but now we have this active piece here. Okay, let's go here. We're gonna start attacking this pawn and just get a little bit of development. We can also move this. We we have potential um, potential discoveries on this bishop. Ooh, actually, wait. We could have ha we have this. Just. Here, attacks the bishop. Oh, uh, but then he just goes like this. No, he doesn't, because here... Oh, we just walked right into a fork. But I can take, right? No, it still forks me. Ow. Oh. Okay, we messed up. I think I just need to take. It's gonna take, and then we'll go here. And he can't, he can actually recapture. Because after this, he gets two pieces. So this game's just not good. And it's check. Wow. That's actually brutal. But, you know, y'all know me. We're not going to give up. We're going to play it through. We're going to be down eight points of material, but or five, because I'm going to get this. But Okay, let's take. Yeah, that was very poor of me. Let's go ahead and give a check. He can't block with the queen. He can block like this. Then we'll go here, maybe. Uh, that's a good move, I think. Let's just uh, see. Let's go here. This way that if I, I can move the queen, because I was thinking of going rook to e1 and just having immense pressure, but he's going to castle. And this way, I might have ideas of coming in or something. But having the, the queen restricted to protecting this isn't really a good idea, I don't think. If he castles this way, we might have a sacrifice. I don't know, that's risky though. Our back rank actually is very weak. So I'm thinking this, but just pushes, right? I don't think we can sack a rook. I just don't. What about here and then... No. Thinking this takes here. Here, we have pressure. All we need to do is get the rook up onto this file and give a check, but it seems like a hard task. Let's see. Let's go here. We need to m make sure our back rank never gets attacked too. And I guess he's probably got moves like this. Protecting. My point also is to go here. And pin this, but the queen will just protect. And he's going to activate the other rook. Oh, this is good practice. Good practice. Knight there. Attacks the queen. Here. It's looking for this check, I think. And there's a fork here of these. Honestly, you can probably just play this. And here, here, and I'm forced back or something. We'll see what he does. Or even just, no, I don't think queen to d4 works. Because then I just go rook to f4. Oh, if he played this and then I go here, he can't push because I just take. It's a good note. Can go there, yeah. But now I take, and this is pinned. I think he missed that for sure. 
Don't think there's any checks, nothing. Okay, let's take. So we get a piece. Still down material, but we'll take that any day. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to convert this, though. Not at all. I think I can take here. Takes, takes, no. I need to get a rook aligned on some kind of file. The F file is good, but I can't really get in because the rook protects. Now our rook is under attack. I think we're just going to come all the way back. If I go here, maybe rook lift over? Is that an option? Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's come here. I just want options of coming down, possibly. But I do think I should play... I should probably make a left for the king. This is going to give him too much time, I think. Yeah, there's the rook. He's not threatening this yet. Takes, takes, takes. But let's push this pawn now. So we're trying to attack this. We can probably just go back. Then doubles up here. Looks decent. We're equal on time. Only down two points of material. So we're down a piece, but we got one pawn for it. And a lot of pressure. And he can always just start taking these pawns. So it's not very good for me, but I, I need to go for checkmate. Because I'm pretty much just lost, but... Rook there. We definitely don't want to trade. What if I go here? Takes here. No. Here. Try and kick this away. No, we can't trade. Let's come back. Now we can't push this. Maybe we should have came all the way back, because now he's going to start taking those pawns. No, he can't. Yeah, he can. Because the knight protects. But we can always kick him away. We're up on the clock, so let's try and stay that way. There is increment though, so... Yeah. Okay, that looks like a weakening move. Is there any way I can take advantage? He just takes here, probably this. I think we need to protect this square though. Let's see, let's come all the way back. Yeah, we're coming all the way back. We're gonna try and push this pawn. Cause him some issues. Doubles up, okay. So he probably wants this. What if we sack now? We get in. No, there's nothing. Yeah, let's just throw the pawns forward. We're equal on time. I don't like it. He's got so much power here. Too much. It's not good. Yeah, there it is. I think we need to protect. Here takes here. He can come in, force a trade. Here takes... No, I don't want that. I can't do anything about it, can I? Here takes here. Pins. Not good. Oh. I have to move. I don't want to do that, but I have to. And then here? He's going to take with the queen, isn't he? No. Okay, let's go here. This isn't a thing yet. This takes with check. Queen there, he's looking for this. Let's slide back. That doesn't work. Check. Oh, that's so nasty. I have to block. Otherwise, this is checkmate. This checkmate anyways. Oh, that's nice. GG to this guy. All right, let's take a look at this. Yeah, he played very well. We had one blunder, which was, of course, this move. Which just walks right into a fork. Taking wasn't great. So I should have played that first. He picks up a piece anyways. But we made it worse because we lost two pieces. We played on. And we did get a piece back. Yeah, that was a mistake. I did just push and allow for this. It was just lost. Yeah. GG's. For real. 
He only made three inaccuracies. He made zero blunders, zero misses, zero mistakes. It's kind of crazy. Played very well. We only had two inaccuracies and two mistakes, but that one blunder cost us the game, of course, as it usually does. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video today, please leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow.